So if you're watching this video, you're considering submitting your course to the Simulator Golf Tour to share it to the world so that everybody playing GS Pro can play your course. Um, just so you know, Simulator Golf Tour is the one that hosts the files, and then GS Pro is the software, and you would pull your course down from the SGT host files and then play it. Um, at this point, I would get, drink a beer to you if it wasn't like 6.30 in the morning and say congratulations, well done on making it to this point. Um, it's not easy. It's a long road, so uh, congratulations. And also, thank you for um, sharing your course to the world. So, how do we go? Let's see. Let's go to, if you want to submit your course, let me show you how to do this. So, if you go to the simulatorgolftour.com, now, maybe you have an account ready because you play on the Simulator Golf Tour inside GS Pro. Maybe you don't, but you do need an account. You do not need to sign up and pay for Simulator Golf Tour to submit a course. So up here, you see this little gray generic person icon. You're going to click that down arrow, and you're going to click sign up. You're going to put in your username, whatever username you want, email, confirm, password, confirm password. Your username, I would suggest you use your Discord handle. Um, you don't have to. I use Master Blaster. Um, so, uh, yes. So then once you have that, you can go to login and then you enter in the email or username that you created and then you click login. At that point, you're going to click on appear on courses list. And if you're logged in, you have to be logged in. You'll get this submit a course design button. And now underneath there, under new and update, you've got two options. If this is their first time submitting the course, if you're watching this video, it probably is, you're going to select new course. However, if you need to submit an update, let's say you find something wrong with your course, you just want to make it better looking, you can go to course update and do the same thing. If you're doing a course update, you just want to make sure that your course name hasn't changed, that that scene file is the same. That way, when it's submitted, the, the admins know that this is a, you know, the, all those files are the same. Works much better that way. All right. So, but we're going to do new course. First thing you do, select text file for your course details. This is going to be in the course file folder that you created through Greenskeeper. So remember, use Greenskeeper, and then Greenskeeper created a bunch of files in that folder where your Unity file, your encrypted Unity file resides. So I am, uh, I save these in my built courses directory so wherever when you um did greenkeeper and you did your unity build remember you sent uh, the unity file to a particular folder inside of your computer somewhere and then greenkeeper you were working inside that folder where your unity file is so that's where this course detail file resides so here's a bunch of my course builds let's look at kapalua and you can see when i go in there my course details text file is in there so i'm going to select that <coughs> Excuse me. Course scorecard. So this has to be a JPEG, and you're going to choose the Imperial scorecard. So in that same folder, here are my uh, images in there. So here's my Imperial scorecard. I'm going to select that. Splash screen. Same folder. This has to be a JPEG. So there's the splash screen that I created for Kapalua. I'm going to select that. And then I got my download link. So what that is going to be when you let me see let me go to my built let me show you my file explorer here so here are my course builds so if i go into kapalua you can see here's my uh my course details folder that i just added here's my uh scorecards here is my uh my unity file that i built okay i'm going to go up one level and I'm going to right click on Kapalua and I'm going to say compress to zip file. And then when I do that, you're going to see that it's going to create this new file called Kapalua underscore zip. I'm going to cancel this because I've already done it. So right here, this is the file that you need to share with the admins over at SGT. So how do you share it? Well, you need to put it on a course or a file share like OneDrive. So let's go back and I'll show you my OneDrive. You could use Google, you could use anything. Uh, one, I should have logged in a little bit quicker. Okay, my files. So here's where I upload my build files, built courses. And you can see, so here's Kapalua, but this is not the zip file. Here is the zip file. 
So it doesn't matter what file share you use. And it, this is different from beta. In beta, the link you share is where the beta users are downloading your file. In here, this is just used to the admins will pull down your file and then they will upload it to their file servers, okay? So you just need to share this with them and make sure that they can download the file. So I'm gonna click on this share. Um, I'm gonna say, I don't like people to be able to edit. I just want them to be able to view it. Just apply that. And then there's my link right here. I'm gonna copy that. You do not need to make any changes to that link like you did in beta, okay? So I'm gonna paste in that download link. The tips are the longest T's. So in my case, it was the black, but just make sure you know which T's are the longest. You can always look in your Greenkeeper scorecard if you're not sure. And then what you would consider the normal men's T's, in my case, it's blue. And then I would hit submit here. Now I'm not gonna do that because this isn't in your course, and I don't want to mess with the admins here. You're going to hit submit. You'll see a message up here that it's been submitted, and then it'll take them a couple business days. At that point, your file gets posted for everybody to play, and the B2B guys, Mashy and I, will take a look at it and see if it's worthy of an MPAL. All right. So again, congratulations. Thank you for submitting your course and sharing it with the world.